pulling out an AirPods case and popping in the tiny ear pieces has become a way to casually show off that you're riding high. They're every bit the status symbol of an expensive handbag or a slick new pair of sneakers. But the second generation AirPods look just like the originals, which means there's no way innocent bystanders will know you're flexing on them. The only visible difference between the first generation AirPods and the new second general edition is the wireless charging case, which has a green charging light on the outside. That is probably my favorite addition to the set, since it lets you know they're charging. The standard charging case has a light on the inside, which doesn't really give you any indication the earpieces are charging until you open up the case. Wireless charging is certainly useful in that it lets you toss your AirPods on a pad and not worry about tangled charging cables, but it's unlikely to be a major selling point for most consumers. And when you can get the second generation AirPods with a standard charging case for $159, it's not quite a necessity. If you've already got a wireless charging base, or were thinking of buying one for your iPhone already, though, the charging case is worth it. The original AirPods had an occasional problem, which caused the connection between them and my smartphone to drop unexpectedly, only to pick back up again a second or two later. But I haven't noticed the same issue with the new AirPods yet. That's supposed to be from the H1 chip but I've also had my first generation AirPods for months, and the new version for a little more than a week, so it's not exactly an equal sample size. I have, however, noticed that the new AirPods offer an improved calling experience versus my originals. There were a number of times when I would call people with the original AirPods while walking outside only for the person on the other end of the line to tell me they couldn't hear me. That hasn't been the case with the second generation AirPods, though. I haven't had one complaint from my friends or family during calls, except for the fact that I called them in the first place. Outside of that, the audio quality has been solid all around. More from Dan, email Daniel Howley at Dowley at, follow him on Twitter at, at Daniel Howley. Follow News Pulse Finance on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram.